Ducky over the past couple of years have really started to hit the mainstream, with professional gamers like Tifu using the 1-2 Mini, their keyboards have become hot property. Everyone wants to get hold of one. Will Ducky's newest 65% keyboard live up to the hype? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Mark from Silence Tech and today we're checking out Ducky's newest keyboard, the 1-2-SF. This 65% keyboard adds a delete, page up, page down and four arrow keys. If you've ever been put off in the past by using a 60% keyboard due to the lack of arrow keys, this will be a godsend. Retailing for 110 US dollars, it's very competitively priced. As far as gaming brands go, I don't see any of them releasing 60% keyboards as of yet. Surely we will see small compact keyboards from bigger gaming brands soon. At first glance, I couldn't believe how small and compact the SF is. I can see why 60% keyboards, or 65% keyboards in this case, are becoming so popular with esports competitive gamers, when space can be a real issue at competitions. The Ducky 1-2 SF is extremely small, at a length of 10.8, a total width of 32.4, and a height of only 4cm. Anyway, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Accompanied with the SF, much like the Mini, is a detachable USB Type-C cable, a Ducky branded keycap puller, a custom Year of the Pig spacebar, plus six additional red keycaps, all of which look cool, although I would have preferred them to have been white to contrast the original keycaps. I also love that there's a plastic dust cover and I can put it on the SF overnight when I'm not using it to stop dust getting in between the keys. Build quality, overall this feels very sturdy, there's certainly some flex since the body is made entirely out of plastic, but that's not of any concern for normal day to day use, although I certainly wouldn't like to drop a heavy object anywhere near it, especially on the front bezel. The PPT keycaps have a flat matte black finish, making them very resistant to fingerprints. The RGB backlighting shines between each letter very well, overall the LEDs are very consistent across the board. Help by the white plastic residing directly underneath, but I have seen brighter keyboards. Mentioning pure aesthetics, the extra keys Ducky have added to make it a 65% board don't quite line up with the rest of the keys, and I would have preferred it if Ducky had lengthened the enter key and the two above so the whole layout lined up correctly. I know that would make it difficult for custom keycaps, but since the SF doesn't come with a standard bottom row or right shift key, I don't see why they went with this design. Either way, the board layout still looks so good, and I guess it adds a bit of character compared to the others on the market. Other than that one little gripe, the SF looks fantastic. I love the two-tone white and black design, the Year of the Pig spacebar really lets everyone know you have a special keyboard, even more so now since Ducky have added an extra LED underneath the spacebar on the SF, the RGB illumination is flawless, Ducky have also put extra functions on the front of the keycaps, which is a great idea in my opinion, because it leaves the keycaps looking very clean and minimal. Underneath there's two very sturdy adjustment feet, I cannot get them to topple over moving the keyboard back and forth at all. I much prefer them orientated in this direction compared to having them flip out at the side. You're able to angle this board in a few different ways and underneath the dip switches toggle windows lock on or off or you can switch between N key rollover to 6 key rollover. Right now there's no software released for the SF, Ducky are working on it. Luckily most of the functions can still be handled on the board itself. Keyboard shortcuts are displayed in the manual, although with my eyes I found them extremely hard to read. The software can't come soon enough. There's full macro support but currently you have to do it on the board itself which is frustrating. On top of macro support, there's also a ton of other unique features available. I absolutely love how you can use WASD as a mouse by holding down the FN and ALT key. You can also use Q for the left and E for the right click. Plus, you're able to scroll up and down with R and F. 
Pressing FN and ALT can be awkward at times, luckily there's the option to make caps lock as another function key simply by flipping one of the dip switches on the back making it easier to use. All of the lighting effects can be controlled via the keyboard, it's very in depth. Pressing FN, ALT and T cycles between all of the different configurations. L and J lets you cycle the speed and I noticed by simply increasing the standard rainbow effect makes the brightness far more vivid. Certain lighting setups can also have their colour changed by using Z, X and C and you're able to use them to set up per key backlighting as well, so you can have WASD illuminated only if that's your preference. Typing on this keyboard has been pure bliss, mine has Cherry MX Brown switches, honestly I've never used browns like this before, the MX Brown switches installed on this Ducky12 SF don't feel anywhere near as stiff or harsh, I guess they bin their switches. I've also noticed they feel more consistent and cleaner across the whole board, there's no horrible springy sound or overly loud bottoming out. Testing the Ducky for gaming, I always believed any keyboard would suit me just fine. If it had Cherry MX switches, I'm good, after that I would look for extras like a volume wheel, dedicated media keys, wireless connectivity for using on other devices, the list goes on. This has none of those features that I normally look for, but after using the SF for a while, as far as gaming is concerned, I realised none of those extra features actually matter at all. Rounding off where the Ducky really shines is its compactness and overall quality. From now on, this will be my main keyboard, but that does depend on how much I miss all of those extra features on some of the other keyboards I have. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please remember to leave a like, guys, and if you haven't already, to subscribe. My name's Mark from Silence Tech. Goodbye. Thank you.